Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to a new freaking video. Um, let me just say my background is messy and I'm working with it. I'm honestly um, still in the remodeling process, so please excuse the mess. Now, I'm a very, very disorganized person because I feel that I have too much things in my room, but I'm, I'm a semi-hoarder. But anyways, on today's video, we're going to be going ahead and debunking TikTok skin hacks due to tiktok that is a reason why i even stop like that that is the reason why i saw the freaking oil cleansing was because of tiktok and honestly that girl that did the whole thing was a total b mother flipping s so let's go ahead and just go on to skincare same thing same jujubalas and let's see what do they have i did see some new ones just skincare um, no skincare hacks, just, just skincare because we're about to see. And you guys, look at my skin. Oh, I actually have like a little red zit right over here, which I'm going to go ahead and put one of the little stickers on it that I literally can tell you that have worked so much for me. It's just like, I love it. I absolutely love it and I really do recommend it for you guys. Oops, it does it. I do recommend you guys to buy these and try them out. They they literally like make it disappear. Boom. The only thing that is um, nasty, whoa. The only thing that is nasty afterwards, it's when it gets like the little white pus and it just shows you that and I just like took everything out, all the gunk. Juicy pimple. That's huge. Put a star on it. One day after, two days after, three days after. Ooh, it's gone. Ugh. But it's gone, day four. See? Gone. Literally. These little patches, like, work amazing. Wow, that, that's freaking crazy. Okay, what keeps my skin clear as a model? Seawater? Sunlight? Vitamin C? Rosehip oil? Okay, I mean... I've never done seawater, honestly speaking. And then the other one is sun. And I do actually go to the sun here and there. Not a lot. But I do wear sunblock. So definitely sunblock is something that you need to keep your clear skin going on. Especially if you're prone to acne. I don't know about the seawater, honestly. I gotta go ahead and investigate more stuff. Rose hip oil. I actually used to use it a lot. And I would um just do it as like a over skin mask. But then the whole thing of the little bump started happening. And it's just like... A no no game babe but anyways right now is gonna give me the top five skincare that clear her skin okay the ordinary okay the ordinary okay the ordinary <laughs> oh sarah v and neutrogena okay okay now ordinary has been out there and everyone knows about it and everyone is calling it and honestly speaking i'm not gonna say anything bad about it it's actually a really good product and it's actually really inexpensive and one of my favorite things from ordinary currently is the red mask but it burns so freaking badly i do use a glycerin here and there but i kind of like more um i kind of like this one more than anything it stings a lot less than the ordinary does the ordinary just like especially if you have open wounds it's just like but um i really do prefer this one more than the ordinary but the ordinary is a definitely more inexpensive option so yeah, I mean, ordinary products are pretty freaking lit. You just have to know how to actually use them and do enough research for them. Don't believe what TikTokers are telling you to do. Just do some research. Google, type it in, look into the information. Like, if you buy it on Sephora, it gives you the details of what they do and what is a benefit for them, okay? And then Neutrogena, I'm not a big fan of their skin stuff. Um, I feel like it doesn't work for me. But the CeraVe is what kind of helped me get back my skincare routine. It's definitely different than what I started doing when I had all those little skin purging, the smitty bumps, the, the whole fungal on my acne, on my face, the whole fungal, on my, the whole fungal acne, you know. It's, it's just CeraVe did help me get my skin back on track, if that makes any sense. Okay. Yes, I agree. Okay. Uh, I feel like they're the same. Okay, I agree. What? Okay, so definitely um, 
The last one is kind of iffy, and the reason why is because Nikita Dragon actually uses the last one, and her skin is like, you know, but then again, some people just, their skin color that they use on a daily basis, kind of your skin already gets used to it, so it kind of knows what it likes, and if it uses something new, it may or may not react, you know? That's actually the one that everyone raves about, especially if you have prone acne. That's the one that you should actually go ahead and get on. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and skip because a lot of us already know about the CeraVe. So it's just like my skin listening to Hiram. You know what? Look, Hiram, I love his skin cares and I love what he talks about. But let me just say, um, I know he's there to get that coin money from Curology. And it's no shade, nothing about it. Go ahead and get your coins. But let me just say, I am not pro Curology whatsoever. I tried it once. And Lord bless believe, my skin was the worst. It was burning. It was peeling. It was just not for me. I canceled that like this. It was literally like day two and my skin was like... Pfft. Yep. Ooh. Not... Okay. Uh, that's BS. It's not in three days. It took a problem like a week, not three days. Your skin will not clear up that freaking fast. Let me just let you know. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's Photoshop. That's that. <laughs> that's Photoshop. That's not. That's that's Photoshop. That's cute, but I don't know what it has to do with skincare. Oh, okay. I guess she's ready for the night. That's her good night outfit or her party outfit? Okay, that has nothing to do with skincare. Oh, that's bull. That's bull. That's so HDR, oh my god. Oh, hell no. No, no, <laughs> that, no. that is mm, first, it's disgusting. I mean, obviously, it's something natural that one gets on their skin. I have them too, but the fact that they just like pulled out like freaking coffee beans that's BS. That is all filtered. Do, do not believe whoever this, do not believe them. That, that, this is bull. Ooh, ASMR. I'm not a big fan of ASMR. Female skincare. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and say that is me when my boyfriend washes his face. He just he just uses body or whatever he showers with. He he just, that's it. It's not even like an important skin, and he has flawless mother flipping skin, flawless. Like yeah, he has a few blackheads in his nose. It's not like dramatic like mine. He has not really large pores at all, but his skin is like escalante, and it's like what the hell? I have like millions of freaking products, expended so much money on things, and it's like. I don't even have that. In fact, my skin decides to purge and get fungal acne and just goes everywhere. And you know, and he has beautiful skin and all he does is use salt. I don't understand. <laughs> Strawberry mask? Pink. Pink. I like pink. Pink. Well, she ruined that mask. What is this? No, can't watch that. Okay, me taking off the mask after two minutes because it stings and I'm a baby. Yes, it stings so much that red mask because you have so many open wounds and it's just, that's the reason why it stings. If you have no open wounds, then it will not sting whatsoever. Some people, he says, um, some people won't be able to because it's too strong. Yes, I don't, I mean, it's not... Mm, it is strong, but I am gonna say if you have open wound acne, that's when it just like hits you the most and it's really strong upon it. Oh no, I can't I can't do extraction. What is this? Removing scars with laser beams. <gasps> Why is she bleeding though? Wow, okay. Um 
I, that would have been me. My skin would just be all bloody, 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 bloody. Because I have so many freaking acne scars. It would just be like bloody, 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 bloody. Like it would be the vampire mask, basically. My skincare before watching. Oh, I've seen that one before. So my skin was really going through it, as you can see. But I realized I didn't even have a skincare routine. Yeah, she doesn't have bad skin. Okay, I'm over that one. Just add water and this is... What is this? That's not skincare. Worst skincare brands. Okay. I'm not a big fan of him. Um... I don't know. I, just, I don't know. That's all he does in most of his clips. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. Okay. St. Eve's, no. Uh-huh. Mario Benescu, no. Okay. Bjorn, no. Rodan and Fields, no. Okay. The most underrated skincare ingredients. Okay. Why? Oh. <gasps> I need to get that. It says, I'll, according to him, it, this, this is how TikTok gets you into things. Okay, gotcha. The worst skincare trends, part one. Okay. I think I saw this one already. Oh, hell no, we got a problem. He No, yeah. Badu, deuces. This is my morning skincare routine. Okay. Because being a sensitive ass bitch. I know, finally. So first I take a shower. <laughs> I wash my face in the shower with a Crave cleanser. It's so gentle. Then I go on with a great barrier relief. Wait, 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 what? This is my morning skincare routine because my okay. skin is being a sensitive ass bitch. I know, finally. So first I take a shower. Got it. <laughs> I wash my face in the shower with a Crave cleanser. It's so gentle. I heard of that one. Great barrier relief, which is my hero product. So good. And I'm almost out of it. So watch me slowly dissect the entrails from the product. <laughs> This one is a little bit greasy, but it works so well to repair your moisture barrier when your skin is red and sensitized, and it's incredible for my skin. I pat it in afterwards to make sure. I pat my skin oh, moisturizer after too. Then I use the UC People Adoption Cream, super simple but good for sensitive skin. I take a scoop and I don't eat it. I work it into my hands and then slowly rub it across my skin, making sure it's all absorbed and all over my face. Skin. His skin is so beautiful. Yes. I actually liked it. I got a little sample of, but it was stinging my face here and there when I had the open wounds. So it does not mix with um certain skin, certain toners. It does not mix with because it was actually stinging with me when I started using a different toner. Dear Claire's SPF to go over my ears, neck, and hands, and sometimes I go in with the translucent powder after if I'm filming, but not today. And then we do a dance. I don't know what it is. I hope you enjoy it. Love you guys. Oh, cute. How do models get the clean skin? Hmm. I tried the Clinique one and it burns if it touches your eyes. It's just, it's, I don't know, to me it wasn't the best. It did not, re it did not remove my full on makeup when I would have makeup on. That does not really clean it. You have to probably clean your face like twice to three times even more. And it's just, that's just too much work. Okay, I haven't tried that brand. Hmm. Haven't tried that brand either. Okay, I mean, her skin looks pretty freaking good. Not gonna lie. Before Hiram. Okay. Whoa. Ooh, her skin cleared up. Yes. Well, the last one was not that clear, but it still looked good. I don't actually shave my face with aloe vera um, because aloe vera kind of like irritates my skin in this case but I've seen a lot of people do that um you just exfoliate their skin my what is it called dermablading with um aloe vera and I've heard really good things about it but I'm not gonna be willing to try it because um aloe vera has burned my skin it just makes my skin so itchy um but I think that would be it for all these videos I didn't really debunk a lot of them I was just mostly cheering the majority of them some of them were just hits and miss Roche, do her okay? Whoa, her skin transformed. 
But I think I'm going to be done with today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments down below which TikTok should I watch and see if we're going to debunk it or not. Let me know. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next one.